could have been yeah. potentially reinstated as coach had this not happened? Uh, he could have been reinstated coach if uh, he can still be reinstated as a coach. Espanola Superintendent Eric Martinez says he thinks PED's takeover of district finances happened yesterday for a reason. It, uh, Maybe not the finance part, but I think the letter to me was, was all about timing. That letter criticized the superintendent for a number of reasons, including his rehiring of embattled basketball coach Richard Martinez. The coach was fired in April after video surfaced of him praying with players. He was rehired in July, but the superintendent says he was moved out of the coaching position and into a curriculum role the following month amid allegations of abuse from PED. A school board member accused the superintendent of single-handedly dismantling the district in the last six months, caring only about athletics, specifically basketball and Coach Martinez. The superintendent says there's been some big changes in those six months, and not everyone's always going to be comfortable. So why was yesterday important in Martinez's mind? It's the start of the basketball season, um, you know, is, is right around the corner. Our first game, I believe, is the 25th. He says that letter from PED was meant to send a message that Coach Martinez shouldn't coach. Still, he says he won't rule it out. He could still potentially, because he was reinstated as coach and teacher, serve as coach. That makes sense. Absolutely. Reporting in Española, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News.